In this problem, we're asked to investigate the convergence of an alternating series, negative 1 to the n, sine 1 over n. So we always start out by looking for absolute convergence. That means we test the convergence of the series of absolute values of these terms. If that series converges, it automatically implies ordinary convergence as well. That's why it's more efficient to start this way. And this is a classic one that with a little bit of practice, you start to recognize. I'm going to do a limit comparison with 1 over n, the same thing that's in the argument of the sine function here. And that one's called the harmonic series, and we've already shown that it's divergent by using the integral test. When I do my limit comparison, I get sine 1 over n over 1 over n. So that's a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. So I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule. But just a technical point here, I have to switch to saying this is equal to the limit of the real numbers x going to infinity, sine 1 over x over 1 over x, because if I want to differentiate something, it better be defined for real numbers and not just the integers. And when I differentiate the numerator, I get cosine 1 over x, and then I have to multiply it by the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared. And then I see that same expression, negative 1 over x squared, in the denominator. This is a classic trick. And I end up with the limit as x goes to infinity cosine 1 over x. 1 over x gets close to 0, so the cosine is getting close to 1. Because this came out to a finite number, it shows that both series that we were comparing have the same convergence behavior. Because I was comparing to a divergent series, that means that our series of absolute values is divergent. So we failed to be absolutely convergent. Okay, this means we go into the alternating series test to see if the alternating series is convergent. First, we need to show that the limit as n goes to infinity of a n, in other words, this piece, is equal to 0. So I take the limit as n goes to infinity, sine of 1 over n. And you could just say that this goes to the sine of 0 because 1 over infinity is 0. No reason to get too formal about it. And so that part works out. It goes to 0. The next part is usually the tricky part. I need to show that the next term is always less than the previous term. In other words, I'm trying to show that sine of 1 over n plus 1 is less than sine of 1 over n. Normally, the easiest way to get this done is to look at the derivative of this function and show that the derivative is negative, therefore the function is decreasing, therefore the next term is less than the previous term. So we're going to investigate the first derivative. Again, if I want to differentiate, I should express it as a function of real numbers and not integers. And I have the first derivative of sine 1 over x, and that's cosine 1 over x multiplied by negative 1 over x squared. Now, provided that x is bigger than or equal to 1, the cosine of 1 over x is the cosine of some angle that's less than 1 radian. Those are always positive cosines. And this piece, negative 1 over x squared, well, x squared is always positive, so this is always negative. So that means this product, cosine 1 over x times negative 1 over x squared, is always a negative number. In other words, sine of 1 over x squared prime is less than 0. That means it's a decreasing function. I'll go back and talk about it in terms of integers now. Sine of 1 over n is decreasing. And that means that sine 1 over a larger value is always less than sine 1 over a smaller value of n. So that gets the second part of the alternating series test done. And we conclude that the alternating series converges. Now, because its series of absolute values did not converge, we say that our original alternating series is conditionally convergent. If you find the math content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce dozens of new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.